Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners and today I'm going to tie a clinging mayfly nymph. The hook I have in the vise is a 5262. This is a size 12. This is two extra long and two extra heavy nymph hook. This is by Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I have a three millimeter copper bead. I'm going to start with 15 thousandths lead wire. And I'm going to start from the middle forward. And when we reach the bead, we're going to pull that off. Push that lead up inside the bead. We'll pull off this piece on the back. I'm going to put a second layer on but I'm only going to do about half of that and we're going to go right up to the bead with that make sure you stretch your lead wire when you go to break it off now I have flat pliers get that inside there and I'm going to flatten that out so we have that I'm going to use a light colored thread and this is 8 aught And we want to make sure that that's level there. I'm going to start at the back of the thread. You can see that lead wires move there, so make sure they're level. And we're going to go up. And we're going to come back down. And we're going to secure them. Remove that excess thread. And go back and forth a couple of times with that and at the back here we want to taper this off so we could have a smooth transition up to the lead wraps I'm just going to take my pliers again and just make sure that that's level there we go I'm going to take a little bit of head cement some head cement down there just to help steady out that those wraps wipe off the excess now I'm going to take this is a pheasant rump and this is almost a silver you can see these but this is natural and I'm going to take take them from the top section here some around here they're not quite church windows the church windows are down here and take them from the top and I took that and I cut the tip out of it and that tip that I cut out I'm going to use that for the tail and I want that tail to be about the length of the body just about that I'm going to tie that on and wrap that all the way up no sense in cutting if you don't have to Bring that back. I'm going to put a wrap underneath. Now for the body, I'm going to take a single natural colored emu feather. And I'm going to tie that in by the butt section of the feather. Butts are much stronger than the tips on the emo feather. I'm going to take a strip peacock hurl. I'm going to tie that in and I'm leaving the tag about the length of the abdomen. 
and we're going to bring that up. I'm going to take just a little bit more of my head cement and put some right on the abdomen. Now we're going to take our emu feather. Don't get frustrated if it breaks on you because these can break very easily. And we're going to wrap that up. Be careful of the hook tip. See, it broke on me. Just going to grab that once again. And we're going to wrap that. And this is going to create gills of the mayfly. You don't have to make this real tight. You could actually almost palmer it. And we're going to bring that up. Not quite all the way up the abdomen. But the gills are mostly on the rear section. Now I'm going to take the strip peacock hurl. And I'm going to wrap this. Give it one whole wrap there at the back. And then start going up. And we're going to more or less palmer this. So we want those, that fuzz to show. And when we get to that front there, now I'm going to wrap them tight. Just a small section. And one more. And then we'll tie that off. Bring that up to the top to tie that off. And break off the excess. Bring that thread right back to the abdomen. Now we're going to take the remainder of that rump feather and the tips are going to be the legs and with that tip removed it's going to be make it easier to divide the legs. I'm going to pull it all together and I'm going to hold it where the legs are going to extend past the barb. And I want them about there, and we're going to tie this iron right on top. Could even pull that a little bit to get it to the length you want. You know, when we get near the bead, we can take it and divide it. Pull those off to the side. Bring that thread back. Now I'm just going to take a nice cream colored dubbing and we're going to make our noodle and we're going to go ahead and wrap that Oop, got a leg I caught There we go. Bring that thread up in front of the legs. And at this point we can
pull those legs towards the sides more. Got one side okay. Now we're going to take our feather and pull that over the top. You see I got a couple loose ones there. Just going to pull that out. Gonna pull that over and tie that down. Pick that feather up, put a few wraps in front, and now we can get it tighter when we cut it. And we still have a few of them sticking up. I'm going to take a little light, a little darker dubbing and put put it for the head. This is going to be a very little bit. We're going to whip finish with the dubbing on there. Take our whip finisher, whoop, let me get that to the back, there we go, pull that tight. And here we have a clinging mayfly nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.